Your teen requested a ride, but this time not from you. It's through their Uber teen account. You drive your teenager around a lot to their friend Jacob's house, their other friend Jake's house, to James's, to Jaden's, to Jalen's, to. Oh, uh, mom, this is Jake's house, not Jacob's. Now with an Uber teen account, your teen can request a ride under your supervision. The ride with a highly rated driver, and with live trip tracking, you'll follow along the whole ride to their friends' houses that all sound the same. Add your teen to your Uber account today. See app for details. Bye, mom. What's so funny? Why, Friday Follies, of course, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. <laughs> the following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Hello and welcome to Bells in the Battery, episode 309. We're uh, a little busy cleaning up here because in our last exciting episode, the robot Miss Schmeckelheimer blew to pieces because Arnie destroyed her. I had to destroy Miss Schmeckelheimer, Mr. Bell, because I had to get the space-time continuum correct, otherwise there would be a future of a robot apocalypse. How's that? Apocalypse. A pocket of what? Big robot takeover. Yes, so you say. Indeed I did. But the end result is... I have no receptionist. Hi, Mr. Bell. Hey, what's going on in here? I'm just lamenting the fact that I have no receptionist. Well, that's because we're in the basement. Have you tried holding your phone up in the corner real high? Not reception, receptionist. Yeah, you know, I got about one bar of receptionist if I stand here on my toesies in this corner, kind of facing that way. Tell you what, Brad, why don't you stand there on your toesies facing that way in the corner in case you get an important phone call? All righty, Mr. Bell. Always happy to do my part. Anyway, Mr. Bell. Oh, sorry about blowing up Miss Schmackelheimer. Well, I gotta get this show underway. I believe I have a guest coming in today. Hold on. Uh, Mr. Bell, what are you doing? I'm buzzing the front desk to see if my guest has arrived. Uh-huh. Hey, Brad, how long do you think he's going to do this before he realizes what he's trying to do? Oh, sorry, Arnie. One paying attention. Waiting for my important phone call. Ah, uh, Mr. Bell. Yes, Arnie. You're trying to buzz the receptionist, right? Yes, and I can't understand why Miss Schmeichelheimer... Oh. I think we need to make getting a new receptionist a top priority. Yeah, you may be right. Do you have any ideas? No, not off the top of my head, but maybe Brad does. Brad, do you have any ideas? Huh? What? Sorry, waiting for my phone call. Oh, for crying out loud. Whoops, there's my phone. Gotta catch this. Yellow. Brad, do you have any good ideas on how to get a good receptionist? Well, standing on my toesies like this in the corner seems to work. Brad! Huh, kind of sounds like you're in the same room with me. I'm talking about a person who can sit at the front desk and ask you the phone and welcome guests. Welcome who, what there? Someone to replace the Miss Schmackelheimer robot. Oh, well, I think we ought to hire somebody who comes in for just a little while. That way we can see if they work out. Oh, like a chimp? Yeah, we shouldn't hire them if they have a fever. No, no, it's chimp. A temporary worker. Where would we find a temporary worker? From a chimp agency. There's such a thing? Oh, yes, it's a very lucrative business. Then I have the perfect solution. The Brad Motworth Tip, Tip Agency. Agency. I should have seen that coming. Dozens did. So, Brad, you think you can find us some good temps? I guarantee I can get you good temps, Mr. Bell, or double your money paid to me. All right, Brad, I'll give you a chance. Send me some temps. I'll get right on it, Mr. Bell. Okay, Arnie, we're done. You can hang up now. I hung up about a minute ago. Wow, this is good reception. <laughs> Attention! Would you like to be part of the exciting, thrilling, wild, and crazy world of podcasting? Or would you like to be a part of Bells in the Battery? If it's the latter, here's your chance! We're looking for people to appear as <clears throat> unpaid temporary receptionists in future episodes. Here's all you have to do. Record yourself saying your name, or a name you make up, as if you're answering that annoying buzzer Mr. Bell uses. For instance, if your name is Sally Snarkface, you could say, This is Miss Snarkface, Miss Sally Snarkface. Then pause for a moment so Mr. Bell can say, Has my guest arrived? Then you say, Yes! And proceed to create the strangest guest you can imagine. 
I'll demonstrate how this works with a volunteer I found hanging around the studio. It's Mr. Bell's wife. Give her a big hand. Okay, Mrs. Bell, you do your part, and I'll do my best to imitate Mr. Bell. Go ahead. This is Miss Toe, Miss Jamie Toe. Has my guest arrived? Yes, it's a man who tap dances while Lizard in his pocket recites a Gettysburg address to the tune of the I Love Lucy theme. Now, here's the fun part. Whatever act you come up with, Mr. Bell has to create. I do? Thusly. All right, give this a shot. Welcome to Bells of the Baffery, sir, and your name is... Fizzard, Farley Fizzard. I'm Fizzard the Lizard Wizard. So you have a lizard with you? Yes, I found this lizard in a blizzard and discovered he could talk. And what, pray tell, is the name of Mr. Fizzard's blizzard lizard? Bob. Well, of course, and I understand you have a bit of an act that you do. Yes, I will be tap dancing while Bob... The Blizzard Lizard. Yes, will recite the Gettysburg Address. All to the tomb of the I Love Lucy theme song. Yes, that's what makes our act unique. Compared to all the other tap dancing people with talking lizard acts. You got it. Lucky us. Okay, proceed. Are you ready to recite, Bob? No, not yet. I'm not feeling it. Give me a second. Bob needs to prepare. Um... He needs to find his center. Um... Wouldn't that be somewhere between his front legs and his back legs? Um... Not if you take into account his rather long tail. Um... That is a long tail. Um... Yeah, it gets a little too long sometimes, so I have to trim it a bit. You trim his tail? Yes, with lizard scissors. Are you guys done? I'm ready to go now. Yes, yes. Here we go. Four score and seven years ago, oh. our fathers brought forth on this continent hey. a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated oh. to the proposition oh. that all men are created equal. Um, now that's entertainment. Isn't that great? Now, you may ask, how can I record my part for this fantastic unpaid opportunity? There are several ways. You can go to a local recording studio, pay $150 and up for a half an hour, record your lines, and send them as an MP3 file. Or you can record it on your phone and send that file. And don't worry if you make mistakes. Mr. Bell can edit those out and make you sound nice and smooth and professional. He does that to his own lines in his own show all the time. I mean, really, the man can't connect two sentences together without stumbling to save his life. I do not. You got to, rats. Now, the legal stuff. By sending your voice to John Bell and John Bell Creative LLC, you are giving permission for John Bell and or John Bell Creative LLC to use your recorded voice in the podcast known as Bells in the Bat Free, free of charge, without compensation, no money for you, pal, from this time forward until the end of the podcast run or till the sun explodes, whichever comes first. There is no guarantee that your submission will be used, although there's a real good chance it will, because we're not expecting more than two or three people to actually try this. Oh, and if you're listening to this like a long time after March of 2023. This is blown over long ago. Thank you, and we're looking forward to your unpaid contribution. And now all we have to do, Mr. Bell, is wait for those emails coming in with people wanting to be the new temporary receptionist. I appreciate you doing this favor for me, Brad. Favor? Favor? Now you're doing it, Mr. Bell. Favor? That's a word Brad does not like. He's hyperventilating. Quick, put a bag over his face. Well, that's always a good idea, Mr. Bell. Not for aesthetic reasons, to stop his hyperventilating. Oh, okay, let's give it a try. He's still hyperventilating. Maybe we could put something else over his head. Ten! 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 Ten cans? Ten dollar bills! Should've known. All right, all right, all right. Here's a ten dollar bill. Not enough! 
Not enough. Well, I don't have a whole lot of $10 bills. Get a grant. I'm not going to apply for a grant just so you can... I don't think he means that kind of grant, Mr. Bell. Ulysses, Ulysses. He's talking about $50 bills, isn't he? You have any $50 bills, Mr. Bell? I'm in podcasting. What do you think? I got a couple of tens. Not enough. Not enough. We're working on it. Okay, I've got a 20 and a couple of fives. All you need is a Lincoln. Okay, here's a penny. Don't insult me, Mr. Bell. All right, all right. Arnie, let's dump out all the change we have. Uh, let's see, there's quarters, uh, 50 cents, 57, uh, I've got, uh, got another nickel, a couple of pennies. Uh, thanks. I'm going to get that. Okay, we got it. We got 50 bucks. Thank you, Mr. Bell, and here's your receipt. You know that was just a loan. No, Mr. Bell, that's because I provided you the first person to be your receptionist. But you just started it. We haven't had any people be the receptionist yet. Tut, 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 Mr. Bell. I seem to recall your wife being involved. But you just used her as an example. Was she or was she not on the show as your receptionist? Well, she, I mean, she was as a demonst- You, But I, you, it, they- I think he's got you, Mr. Bell. <laughs> You've been listening to Bells in the Baffery, episode 309, copyright 2023 by John Bell Creative, LLC. We hope to see you and hear you on our next episode. And when you need a tip, be sure to contact the Brad Montworth Tip Agent. What a cork in it, Brad. Soil sport.